How's it going guys, Chris here, and in today's guide we're going to be taking a look at the Selbstlager M1916 in Battlefield 5, a slow firing semi-automatic rifle that can be unlocked at Assault Rank 16. So German gun designer Paul Mauser began developing a line of semi-auto rifles in the late 1800s, and continued to do so for quite a few years after. In fact, one of those earlier prototype models cost him his eye during testing, though that didn't stop him from carrying on his work and after going through several different variations and evolutions in design, his final, most notable self-loading rifle model would eventually be born at the start of the First World War. Of course, this was Mauser's Selbstlader M1916, the one we can find in Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1 as well, being a gun that was around during that time period, though it didn't initially get into the German army, being rejected for being too complicated, difficult to maintain and really sensitive to dirt something that would have been really impractical in the hands of infantry, running around in those muddy, grimy trenches. But the demand for semi-auto rifles increased during World War I, so the M1916 was instead pushed into service with the German Air Corps and on military airships, down to the clean environment being more suitable for the gun to function properly. Though in the end, the rifle's production cost was its main downfall, as it was phased out of service in favour of the much cheaper Mondragon rifle a gun that was less accurate and often considered to be a worse alternative, which was also eventually phased out too, in favour of the adoption of machine guns in air service. In Battlefield 5, the Selbstlader M1916 rifle hits pretty hard, dealing a maximum of 45 damage up to the range of 25 metres, which then starts to drop down from this point, quite quickly to begin with, but more gradually from the 50 metre mark, eventually reaching that minimum output of 28 at 150 metres. So this is very much like some of the other heavy hitters in this category of weapons, having the same sort of damage profile as the Gewehr 43 and the M1941, meaning it's going to be able to drop targets in just 3 shots up to 100 metres, two if one of those bullets hits the head, though up to 4 any further than this, giving the M1916 a pretty decent amount of power per shot over all ranges. But there's a catch, you'll only be able to fire at the rate of 224 RPM, the slowest of all the semi-auto rifles and although this fire rate can be increased with the trigger drop specialisation, that'll only boost it up to 257 RPM, putting it on par with the M1941, still not exactly anything impressive. So despite having all that power, this still generally gives the gun some underwhelming kill times overall, more particularly within the close to mid ranges, under 50 metres, where you'll often be outclassed by a lot of the other weapons in gunfights. To make the gun even riskier to use within those earlier ranges, the M1916 also suffers from a pretty wild recoil pattern, with a vertical value of 1.8 and an increased value of 0.13. Definitely not the kind of numbers you want to have, especially for a gun that shoots so slow. This drastically lowers the gun's stability and makes it a fairly tricky thing to control, often meaning that you'll need to pace your shots out at an even slower rate just to line your sights back up with your target, increasing kill times even more. With every missed shot, further increasing the time to kill too. This is going to put a lot more pressure on you to land shots in gunfights up close, often forcing you to be a bit less aggressive with the M1916 than you might be with some of the other rifles, where a single missed shot in close quarters could make you easy pickings for another player nearby. Recoil can be reduced with the recoil buffer, making it more manageable, but still on the higher side, though with the rifle having an okay bullet speed, which can also be increased, this will at least help to make it a bit more viable over mid to long ranges, as although you'll still have to pace your shots out a bit, at least you won't have to lead your target's movements quite as much as you would with a few of the other semi-auto rifles, letting you make the most of the gun's higher power over distance. Easily one of the best things about the Selbstlader M1916, and one of its more redeeming qualities, is the fact that it handles ammunition a lot better than most of its alternatives helping to keep you engaged in the battle and take on several opponents one after the other, without really having to worry too much about running out of bullets mid-battle. Unlike a lot of the other semi-auto rifles for the assault class, the M1916 is gifted with a detachable box magazine holding up to 25 rounds, plus an extra one in the chamber for good measure, which is not only over twice as much ammo as most of the others, but this also gives the gun more consistent reloads too, with it not using an internal magazine that needs to be topped up with clips and individual rounds. Although quite a lot of the others can be equipped with detachable mags, or have their reload speeds increased with specialisations, the M1916 gives you a lot of suppressive power straight off the bat, letting you sustain fire for longer and take on more enemies with that larger mag size and stronger bullets, 
also making it more forgiving over range when shots miss. Those magazines can also be reloaded at reasonably quick speeds too, with a tactical reload of 2.75 seconds and an empty reload of 4.25 seconds. Not the snappiest times when put up against some of the other rifles running detachable mags, but considering you're getting back so much ammo per reload, that can be easily forgiven most of the time. So time for the specialisations. At the top we've got high velocity bullets on the left to increase muzzle velocity and quick aim on the right to boost ADS speed. With the M1916 being a gun more optimised for longer ranged engagements, I tend to find high velocity bullets to be the more practical option here, helping with its ease of use over longer distances. In the middle section, the left side of the tree is basically going to counter some of the rifle's main issues. It won't get rid of them outright, but it'll at least help to reduce them. The recoil buffer and trigger job specs will both reduce vertical recoil and slightly increase the fire rate, making it a little bit more competitive and easier to control as you fire away. Though the right side's got the custom and lightened stock options, to aid with manoeuvrability and lower spread whilst on the move. But I tend to find the left side to be the more useful path here, slightly helping to combat the gun's bigger weaknesses by making them less of a problem. And last of all, at the bottom, we've got the bipod on the left, giving you a lot of assistance when it's in use to stabilise the heavy kick, and barrel bedding on the right, lowering spread right down when you're not moving. Either of these are workable choices, both there to give the gun more precision when stationary, though because you have to rely on surfaces to use the bipod, I tend to prefer using barrel bedding most of the time. In conclusion, the Selbstlader M1916 is a rifle with lots of prominent strengths and weaknesses, generally catering to the defensive player more so, who prefers to take on opponents slightly further back, with the gun being pretty risky to use in close quarters, while also performing much more comfortably over those mid to long ranges instead. This is all mainly down to its slow fire rate and heavy kick per shot, limiting the rifle's effectiveness up close by giving it some fairly poor kill times here often made even worse with that high recoil often forcing shots off target. The damage might be high, but that's still not going to give you much of an advantage against players in CQC, though these aspects do become less problematic when there's a bit of range between you and your opponent, with your bullets still retaining quite a lot of power over distance, and with the gun having a few stats and specialisations to further boost range performance. Where you'd have to stop and reload with most of the other guns, the M1916 can keep on going with its 26 round ammo capacity, letting it take on multiple enemies one after the other, while also being a bit more forgiving if a few shots miss over range, allowing the rifle's fire to be a bit more spammable in some situations, as you'd rarely need to worry about running out of bullets mid gunfight. It's a weapon designed to be used in a more passive way, and so long as you don't get too ballsy with it, keeping its limitations in mind, the M1916 is capable of doing things that quite a lot of other rifles simply can't, down to that combination of high power and sustainable fire. So that's all I've got for you this time guys, do be sure to give me a like if you enjoyed the guide and found it useful, subscribe to see loads more on my channel, and of course, thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing you in that next one.